Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio 10, the freehand tool has been updated to give you a better idea of what your audience will see as you are applying art to the canvas. As an example, I have the freehand tool selected, and as I come in here and I start to draw, and then I re-release, you can see that the line doesn't change much at all. Basically, what I was applying is what you're going to see once you finish drawing. And the same applies if you have a brush. So if we just go into the brushes here, I can grab, well, let's say this one, hit OK. Uh, I could come in here then, and you can see that we have a live preview going on here for the brush. So you could just come in here and draw in some hair. I'm not really doing a good job of it right now, but as you can see, you can uh, do that. So that is one big benefit to the new enhancement. Now, there are some things that you will notice. For instance, if I turn tapering on, and then come over here. You'll see once I apply it, the taper then goes into effect. And sometimes you'll see a slight jump because there is an automatic smoothing effect that occurs between the points once they're applied. Now finally, if you uncheck Auto Close and Auto Weld, you'll see now that no points appear on screen. And now we could come in here and just start drawing without worry of having points on screen. Of course, the points are still being made, but you can worry about them later. Right now, it's all about drawing your art and concentrating on that without having all those points. And that pretty much sums up the freehand enhancements in Anime Studio. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, you can visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.